Hi everyone, this is Sunera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you how you can make this really um, pretty paper lantern using some Itsy Bitsy supplies. I'm also going to show you how to create this fabulous crackle uh, effect to your, um, to your die cuts using the Ranger crackle accents. Now to start off, I'm going to uh, first work on embossing the vellum sheets that form the inserts for the lantern. Vellum, in case you're not familiar with it, is a kind of paper which you very often find in invitation cards. It's a, it's a translucent paper um, and it's, um, it's kind of delicate and because it's translucent, when you put it in projects like this, a lantern, um, you can also see the light glowing um, from the inside. So I'm embossing the vellum to create an even prettier effect using a Sizzix embossing folder that I got from Itsy Bitsy. And here's how the vellum looks after it's embossed. It's really pretty and full of texture. So after embossing four such sheets of vellum, I'm going to take out my template which I've cut. To get um, this template, please visit our blog. It will be in the description section of this video. Then I'm just going to glue each of the vellum uh, inserts um, onto the, onto the uh, white cardstock that I've cut following the template um, on the website specified on our blog. So just cut it and glue it. And I'm going to repeat that for all the four windows of this lantern. It's important also to apply glue in the middle uh, section because otherwise the vellum won't stick to those parts and it looks really unpleasant. Right, so now here's how it looks when all the vellum has been inserted. The next step is to add the color, uh, the colored uh, cardstock or paper that you're going to use for your project. So once again, you're just going to apply glue all over the, um, the template um, as liberally as you can. Um, you know, be uh, don't hold back, put two, three layers if you need to. Use liquid glue, um, like any PVC glue if you prefer. Um, I really don't have the stomach for the messier glue, so I find myself more often than not using a tape runner. Once you're satisfied that it's sufficiently glued and you feel your paper will stick firmly, take out the paper of your choice. In my case, I've used um, something from the Die Cuts with a View Habitat stack because this uh, project is intended for my balcony and I really want it to look as pretty and green and earthy as possible. Since the pattern paper is just 12 by 12, I had to cut um, this template in uh, two parts. Um, but not to worry, I've left a slight overlap so that um, the second piece can be added seamlessly to the first. Now once it's glued in place, um, I've just realized that I've not put glue on the center portion. So once again, if you're doing this um, at home, don't forget adding glue to the central portions. Now it's time to add the decorative um, inserts on top of the pattern paper. Um, I really think it's best to anything that you're going to glue on the shell of the lantern to do before you make it into a lantern so you can press it down firmly. And this is so thin and so delicate that I'm going to use a glue gun to glue it in place. This is another paper from the same uh, stack and I follow the same template except that I cut the edges a bit smaller and the inserts a bit larger. So now by the time everything is glued in place, it's time to start putting the lantern together. For that, I'm adding my a glue from my glue gun onto the bottom flap and ensuring that the glue is quite liberal and pressed firmly in place because the idea is that the lantern shouldn't open out <laughs> suddenly in the middle. So here I'm gluing the next side and finally the third side. Um, I wouldn't say the glue gun is not messy, but it's, um, it's not as messy as wet glues and it's surprisingly strong. 
you can be sure um, that it will stick in place it's also very fast drying that's something that really annoys me about liquid glues the glue gun dries really fast you got to stick it as quick as you can that's my final um, tab and my lantern base is ready I had pre-prepared the lantern lid so the roof is also ready and I'm grateful that it's fitting perfectly now I wanted to show you how the uh, how the crackle accent works unfortunately due to some tech problems I lost the video where I actually applied the medium but this is how it looks when it's done it's all cracked and I want to use these as flourishes on the side of my lantern I'm only going to embellish two sides of the lantern because I think that's enough um, I think an understated um, design is better than a you know overstated one so um, I'm just choosing two sides that I think look the best on the lantern and I'm adding the flourishes um, using the glue gun as well then of course if you need blooms just head over to Itsy Bitsy they've got so many to choose from and I'm happy to use them I've had these purple ones for some time and I'm really grateful to find a project that they suit so nicely um, now all that's left is to add the ribbon to hang the lantern and this is an interesting um, an interesting approach I'm gonna add some glue to the inside of the lantern and glue my ribbon in place right at the edge then I'm gonna lace it through a slit I've provided in the roof so that the lantern goes through the ribbon goes through the slit and comes again through another slit on the opposite side right so that I can open and close the lid with ease without worrying about whether the ribbon is going to come out. Similarly, on the after trimming the edge of the ribbon, which has become quite frayed, I'm going to glue it on the opposite side of the lantern base, just the edge, so that it stays, so that it keeps the two together. This ribbon is sort of the link that keeps the roof and the base together but it's not constricting so you can open it raise it um, add a light uh, inside take out something whatever without any problem it just goes up and down as you need now to make it a little pretty and because not many of my projects go without bows I'm adding a, a bow of the same color to the side of the lantern like so so it almost looks like the the bow is uh, hold, put the ribbon in place and finally I'm going to use a tea light and slip it inside be sure you don't use a candle this is all made out of paper and the whole thing will go up in flames and voila my lantern is ready here's how it looks when it's finished and decorated and even and in natural light um, you can see that I've added the flowers I've also added some distressing to the edges using the aged mahogany distress ink here's how it looks in the night as you can see the vellum is nicely translucent allowing the light from the tea light to filter out and here's a close-up of the crackle accents um, the die cuts don't do look a whole lot prettier with this crackle effect I love it and that pretty much wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. I certainly did. And stay tuned to many more tutorials from all of us here at Itsy Bitsy. Bye.